Okay, so we are going to walk through how you uh, create a new page and we're also going to create a new page using a work in process merge request. So what you first need to do is go to the www-gitlab.com project. So we are there. And then to find where to put this page, we're going to make a GitLab 201 page. So this is where the GitLab 101 page is. You can see it's in the handbook, people group, learning and development, certifications, GitLab 101. So <clears throat> what we will do is go to sites, handbook, source, handbook, and then we're looking for, so now we're in uh, this part of the URL. So we're gonna look for people group next. So, and it's in alphabetical order. Here's people group. The next part is learning and development. Here's that folder. And then certifications is here. And then this page is GitLab 101. We want to create another page here. So our new URL would be the same as this, except um, here. except it would be GitLab 201. It's not a page yet, so it won't pull anything up, but um, we want to create a new page in this folder. So in here, I will click this little plus area or arrow um, and then new file. And then what I do, because I, I'm not good at remembering how to create a page, I just pull up one that's similar to one I want to create and open it. Um, so I did view source and then now I'll click edit and see how this is set up. <clears throat> so I should be able to, um, I'll just copy this to name it. GitLab 201 slash uh, make sure it has index.html.md that makes sure the page is formatted in the correct way. Um, and since you're already in uh, like the certifications folder, you don't have to type, you don't have to type, uh, let's see if I can get it to go. You don't have to type this because you're already there. So it's like handbook slash people group slash learning and development slash certifications, you're already in that folder. So you just need to type this part. So whatever you're going to name the page slash index.html.md. So we did that. And then the next step is to make sure the format of the page is set up correctly. So I normally just go copy a little bit of a different page. And then I go to the page I'm creating and I paste it in here. So this will be 201, 201. Uh, updates before we submit this. So the title of the page, let's see. So what is right here is what will populate here on this banner. So that's what the title does. And then all this, just make sure the page is set up and format, formatted the same as our other handbook pages. So we will go down here to the commit message and get new started. Our Git branch will be GitLab 201 page. And then we will go ahead and commit the changes.
and it's going to take forever to load because we're recording. <laughs> okay, cool. So um, this will be the title of the merge request. Merge request. So uh, I'll just. Page. and then just add some details in here oh and we're going to create make this a work in process so that um, you can continue to <clears throat> add on it until we decide it's ready to merge so work in process create new GitLab 201 page and that also makes it so it can't be merged so the work in process you'd have to go in and actually remove that before it can be merged so And then I'm going to assign this to Kike so you get a notification. I can also add myself to it if I want. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and submit the merge request. And here is the merge request for this. So you can go in and um, make more changes to it. So you would just go to the changes tab click this little pencil button and add more details. So maybe you want to add prerequisites. I don't know if that's spelled right, but that's okay because we can go in and make, make more changes. Um, so GitLab 101 would be a prerequisite to this. And then I would just add, update the commit message to just a brief summary of what I did. So add prereq section. You'll leave the target branch the same, commit changes, and then it will be added to um, the merge request that we just created. And yes, it will take a long time because we're recording. <laughs> okay, cool. So I might have to refresh it. You'll be able to see, yeah, there are two commits. You could go into each of these and see what was changed for each. Um, but this changes tab will show you like all the changes. So if we were to remove something, there would be a red, um, like highlight to show you that something was removed. So this is a work in process merge request. Say you've made all your changes and you wanna merge it or you wanna assign it to someone to merge it. You can see that you can't merge this one because it is a work in process. So what you would do to be able to merge it would be go in here, remove the whip part, save the changes, and then just make sure you assign it to whoever is going to review and merge it so you can see this will change. It could be added to the merge train when the pipeline succeeds. I'm gonna go ahead and add the whip back because we want it to be a work in process, uh, but just so you can see what you need to do to merge it. But that is how you create a new handbook page and also do a um, whip merge request.